It is not often that you see Elon Musk on the losing side of things. The multi-billionaire is known for his winning mentality and achieving the impossible. From his SpaceX ventures to Tesla innovations, he has always been on top. Not so much this time. Neuralink made waves in April of 2021 when it revealed a video of an implant device in action in a monkey. The monkey, named Pager, was seen playing computer games using only his mind six weeks after receiving a brain implant. Now, Synchron, a direct competitor of Elon Musk's Neuralink company, has beaten out the competition and won approval for a study on implant chips in people rather than animals. Based in New York, Synchron Inc. acquired approval from the Food and Drug Administration, which is new to this type of work themselves. Obtaining regulatory approval for tests of a commercial product in human brains is a major accomplishment in the field of science. The trial, also known as an early feasibility study, is necessary to demonstrate that the implants are safe and could be commercialized in the United States in the future. Synchron hopes that its product will allow disabled patients to operate digital devices using their brain, improving their functional independence. This is a significant step toward implanting futuristic technologies in more people's heads to help treat ailments like paralysis. Even before all this, Synchron had successfully conducted a number of experiments on several levels, including a four-patient trial in Australia. Last year, the company conducted a study indicating that the first two patients in the trial were able to use direct thinking to operate their gadgets and text and type. Synchron plans to enroll six people in the U.S. investigation, which is roughly similar to a Phase two clinical study for a drug. They will accomplish all of this with the assistance of the Stentrode Motor Neuroprosthesis. The Stentrode gadget, which is smaller than a matchstick, will be implanted in the brain to allow paralyzed individuals to control digital devices such as computer cursors using their thoughts. The implant communicates with a second implant in the chest through a small wire. The impulses are subsequently sent by a transmitter to a computer placed close to the patient. Unlike many other implanted brain-computer interfaces that require brain surgery, the Stentrode device is inserted through a blood vessel in the neck and guided to a vessel in the brain. The patient can use the device immediately after a two-hour minimally invasive operation. The operation is similar to the implantation of stents in the heart. The surgery can be performed in readily available angiography suites, and there are no wires coming out of the body after the gadget is implanted. Synchron also claims that its process does not require any kind of robotic help, in contrast to Neuralink, which recently unveiled the robot they would use to implant a computer chip into the human brain. An early feasibility study will take place at the Mount Sinai Hospital in New York. The research will look into the safety and efficacy of the company's flagship product. If all goes according to plan, Synchron might move on to the next stage of the lengthy certification procedure and should launch the product in three to five years. That's it from today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you never miss out on any of the amazing videos we have in store for you.